Welcome to the spoken tutorial on layers and editing a PDF in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn to insert and modify layers, show dimension lines on a drawn object, edit a PDF document using LibreOffice Draw. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. I have opened the root map file. The files used in this tutorial have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them for practicing. Now let's see what are layers in draw. Layers are like transparent sheets placed one on top of another. There are three layer tabs in every draw file by default. These tabs are visible at the bottom of the interface. The layout layer tab is displayed by default. This is where we create our graphics. The controls layer is used to store control elements such as buttons and forms. Dimension Lines layer is used to depict dimension lines for complex drawings. For example, here is the drawing of a house. It must have exact measurements of walls, electrical wiring positions and so on. Now let's print three maps that show the routes from home to school. We will name them Map 1, Map 2 and Map 3. Map 1 will show all the landmarks in the area. In Map 2, we will remove the lake, stadium and commercial complex. In Map 3, let's show all the objects except the park. Do we need to create three separate maps to show these? No, Draw provides a solution to this with the help of layers. This way, there will be only one map file with many layers of information. We can print or view a combination of layers using one draw page. Let us begin by adding layers to our root map. Click on the Layout Layer tab. Right click and select Insert Layer. The Insert Layer dialog box appears. In the Name field, type Layer 4. You can add any title and description that is relevant to your drawing. I will type Map 2 as the title and then add a short text in the description field as shown here. Check the boxes Visible and Printable if not already checked. Then click on the OK button to exit the dialog box. Look at the bottom now. The new layer tab named Layer 4 is visible here. Click on the Layout Layer tab once again. Now let's simultaneously select some of the objects. Hold down the shift key and click on Commercial Complex, Lake and Stadium. Press Ctrl X keys to cut the objects. Then click on the Layer 4 tab and press Ctrl V keys to paste them. The objects are pasted in the same positions as in the layout layer. Click anywhere on the draw page to deselect the objects. Right click on the layer 4 tab to view the context menu. Select modify layer. The modify layer dialog box appears. Uncheck the visible checkbox and click on the OK button. The objects in layer 4 are no longer visible. The objects are present physically but are not visible on the drop page. We have our map too. Notice that on the pages pane on the left, all the objects are seen on the page. On the drop page, right click on layer 4 tab. From the context menu, select modify layer. Click the visible checkbox and click on the OK button. This will make all the objects visible on the drop page again. Similarly, let us create another new layer and name it as Layer 5. I will type Map 3 as the title. 
and then add a short text in the description field as shown here. Click on the OK button to exit the dialog box. Notice that this layer appears before layer 4. In the Layout Layer tab, select Park. Press Ctrl X keys to cut it. Click on the Layer 5 tab and press Ctrl V keys to paste it. Right click on Layer 5 tab to view the context menu. And select Modify Layer. Uncheck the visible checkbox and click on the OK button. We have successfully created Map 3. Let us make all the objects visible again. Right click on Layer 5 tab. From the context menu, select Modify Layer. Click on the visible checkbox and then click on the OK button. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Create two new routes from home to the school campus in the route map drawing. Display each route on a separate layer. Print the two maps, each displaying only one root. Next, let's display the dimension lines for the drawn objects. Click on the Layout Layer tab in the drop page. If any other layer is selected, the tools will appear disabled. Let us show the dimension lines to measure the sides of the playground. Click on the Lines and Arrows drop down. Select the Dimension Line tool. Move the cursor to the drop page onto the playground. The cursor changes to a plus sign. Place the cursor below or on the left edge and drag it to the other side. Likewise, draw a dimension line to measure its breadth also. Let us save our root map file and close it. Now we will learn to edit a PDF document in draw. For this, let us use the resume.pdf file. This file is provided in the code files link. I have opened a new draw file. Click on the file menu and select open. The open dialog box appears. Select the resume.pdf file and click on the open button in the dialog box. Resume.pdf file is loaded on the draw page. Let me zoom in for a better view. Let us add some more information to this resume. From the standard toolbar, click on the insert text box icon. Draw a text box below mother's occupation. Inside the box, type languages known English, Hindi and Marathi. Now select all the text within the box and change the font size to 14. Then change the font name to Undotum. Now select the text Resume by double clicking on it. Change the font size to 20 and the font color to red. Then underline the text using the underline icon. Now we will add some work experience details also. Again click on the insert text box icon and draw another text box below Hobbies. Inside this box, type the work experience details as shown. Similarly, change the font size of the text to 14 and font name to Undotum. Next, we will delete the text Self-Employed given in Father's Occupation. Then edit the Mother's Occupation as Private Tutor. You can drag and adjust the text boxes to align them properly. Likewise, we can add other details as per our requirement to this PDF document. We will export the file as resume modified and save it on the desktop. Then click on the export button in the dialog box that opens. Then save the file and close it. Now we will open the PDF file saved on the desktop. Right click on the file and select open with document viewer. You can open the file using any document viewer available on your system. Notice all the newly added information in the PDF document. 
This is how a PDF document can be edited very easily using LibreOffice Draw. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, you have learned to Insert and modify layers Show dimension lines on a drawn object Edit a PDF document using LibreOffice Draw Here is an assignment for you. Open the root map file and export it as a PDF file. Open the PDF file in Draw. Insert a text box to show the title as Root Map from Home to School. Make the text bold and change the font size to 24. Align the text to the center of the text box. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Misal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.